and welcome to this video series on using Zoom. In this series, you'll learn how to get started with Zoom, how to post those Zoom meetings in Canvas, and some other tips and tricks that I've picked up along the way. So, let's get started. The first thing to understand with Zoom is that you can use the online version or the software version. The software version has been pushed out to all of your computers um, with ICTS. I'm going to start showing you the online version and then we'll move into looking at the software version. They both do the same thing, they just look a little different. So the first thing you need to understand with using Zoom is actually how to schedule a meeting. And you would be doing this if you connect with your students. So on the top right hand side you have schedule a meeting. You can give the meeting a topic. So if this is say my year nine humanities. You can give it a description if you want. You can schedule the date and time that you're going to have this meeting. It's been pointed out to me that this is US based date and time. I didn't notice any different. It looked fine to me. And then you can give it a time. Um, if you're using the free version, which we all are right now, it is topped out at 40 minutes, which is more than enough time to do, um, to do your online meeting. You want to make sure that the time zone is correct. Um, it does automatically default to Auckland, but also always good to check. If it's going to be recurring, meaning you're going to have it every week on Wednesday at this date and time, you can tick that box. Keep the meeting ID as um, have it generate automatically. I would not recommend requiring a password. These next two um, are again some tips and tricks here. So the video, I personally like to have the video on when participants come into the meeting session. And the reason I like that is people can see who's coming in, they see who's present. It also just gives them a sense of, hey, we're here. Um, there's kind of nothing worse than knowing if you're doing something right, if you don't see anyone, or if it's just a black screen. So I do recommend turning those on. For the audio, please make sure you select computer audio, meaning that all of the audio is going to be coming into the computer. They cannot telephone in. And then under the meeting options, enable join before host. This just means will you allow your students co to connect to the classroom before you come in. I actually do not recommend this because you don't know what may be happening or what conversations may be occurring online before you get in. Okay. I do suggest mute participants upon entry, meaning unless they unmute their audio or unmute, unmute themselves in the meeting, um, you can't hear each other, but you'll be able to see each other. Okay. You could enable a waiting room, meaning if you're not going to allow them um, to join before you, that they can get into Zoom and then there um, is a meeting room saying you're just waiting for the host to come. It's just a nice thing so students know that um, they've logged in correctly and they're just waiting for you. And then record the meeting automatically to your computer. Again, I would recommend this so you can then post this file to Canvas should you have students who um, are not able to make the meeting. Okay. So once you've selected all of your options, go ahead and click Save. And then you have this important stuff here. This is the big piece here is the URL. Students do not have to have a login to Zoom in order to join your meeting. All they need to do is go to the join URL that you see here. So pretty awesome. The next step then is notifying students that a meeting has been set and providing them with that URL in Canvas. So let's do that. So I'm in my Canvas class and there are actually a number of ways you can post that URL to your students. You can 
put a tile on your home page as I did here and then link that image to the, your URL. So if you wanted to do that, you would make your tile um, or find the Zoom logo and add it to your home page. And then you would just click on it, come up to the editor and say link to URL, paste in your um, URL from Zoom and then click update link. That link will then go to your Zoom classroom. So if I save that, and if I did it all correctly, that should take me to a Zoom meeting. Boom, there it is. The other way to do that is simply provide the URL to your students. So you can do that via a module. Oops, I clicked on discussions. You can put it in a module. Um, if you're using modules, you can also put it in an announcement. So you could add an announcement and what's really nice in Zoom, you have this copy the invitation and this gives you all of the information um, that students may need and you can just copy that meeting invitation and then you can just paste that right into your announcement and save that and that will then be sent out to your students. So that's another option for adding that link into Zoom or into Canvas. I would also recommend that you add that to the Canvas calendar. So if you go to your calendar, so once you're in your Canvas calendar, you just click the plus sign on the top right. And I'm going to add an event and I'm just going to call it my Zoom meeting. Not Zoo. It might be a Zoo, but for now we'll call it a Zoom meeting. Put in the date, put in the time. Um, I don't remember what I did, so we'll just put in the time. And we're going to just do a short 20 minute time. And the location, uh, you can put in the URL. So let me paste the, copy the URL here. Okay. Calendar is important. Make sure you are selecting the correct class that this event should go in. I'm in my sandbox class, so I'm going to make sure that it goes on that and then you can click submit and boom it's on your calendar so now students um, have that on their calendar parents will see that now because it will be pulled through the portal alright so I would suggest not only posting the link but also posting it in your calendar so then the question becomes if you are using the zoom software what does that look like it actually looks very similar so I'm gonna go ahead and open the software and I will need to sign in okay. so you should see that it looks fairly familiar to schedule a meeting from the software you just click this little plus sign that's on the top left here to schedule a meeting and then you have the exact same options that we had via this um, online version. Give it a topic, date, time, you want it to generate, um, untick requiring a password, your video I say um, on because I do like that, making sure it's computer audio. With the software version you can add it to your Google Calendar you would have to give your Google Calendar access and then under advanced options you have um, the waiting room unticking the enable before a host the record options and the mute and then you can click schedule the last thing I want to show in this video is, is how you get started hosting a zoom meeting so you've scheduled it you've got your link what's next I'm going to go back to the online version. It's very similar in the software version. And if you click on meetings, you'll see a list of meetings that you have created. And all you need to do to start a meeting is click start. 
It will then open up the Zoom software client. So I'm just going to say open. And there I am. So that's the basics of how to get started with Zoom, how to set up a meeting, how to post it in Canvas, and how to start the meeting. Our next videos will be about the Zoom interface and the cool things you can do with it.